Hi guys, so today I am here talking all about nude lipsticks. It's a really um, popular topic and it's a little bit confusing to find the right nude lipstick for your skin type. Um, I've seen a lot of um, YouTube videos showing um, nude lipsticks and different tips and stuff, but I don't see a lot of people with my skin type, my skin color, um, trying out nude lipsticks, so it can be kind of hard to decide um, what nude will look right on you when you're seeing it on different skin tones, because skin tone is largely important when you're choosing a nude. I have several nude lipsticks right here, and I've just gathered my um, the nude lipsticks that I could find, and I'm just testing them out and showing you guys which ones work and which ones don't. Um, you'll see that I don't use liner in a lot of these videos, just because I wanted to show you guys what they really look like without liner. But I did put liner on the ones that needed to see what ones would work better with liner. Um, but generally, I just wanted you guys to see what the lip what the lip colors would look like as they are. Um, and get an idea of what to look for when you're looking for a nude lipstick. If you guys would like me to do um, neutrals, which are similar to nude lipsticks, but they're um, more reddish tone, they're more close to the color of your lip rather than like the color of your skin, um, then I can do that and just let me know in the comments and I will do a neutral lip video as well. Um, hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully it helps many of you find the right shade of nude if you have a similar um, skin tone to me. Thank you so much for watching. So the first lip color we're going to try out is the Matte Cream de Nude. And this color is very, very light. It's much too light for my skin color. Although it could work if it was used as a center sort of ombre color. Um, but just alone it won't work. And even when I try to use it with a lip liner, it's still not the right color for me. next color that we have is MAC Myth, and this is a popular nude color. And as I'm looking at it now, I'm seeing that I think with a little bit of work, um, maybe the, the bright liner, um, it might work, or even as a center color, it could work. I didn't use the correct liner here. I should have used a more brown liner rather than a more neutral liner. Um, but alone, it's just not the right color for my skin tone. that we have is MAC Freckle Tone, and this color is everything. It doesn't even need a liner. It's so beautiful. The next color that I'm using is MAC Yash, and this color is amazing. I think it's a color that all women of color should have. Um, it's so beautiful, and it has that nice sort of orangey base in it. It's very, very lovely. I love it. The next color that we have is You've Got It by MAC, and even though this is a color you can't get anymore, a lot of people like to use these frosty colors, and I would avoid them if you are, have any melanin in your skin at all. They are not going to look good. The next color that we have is MAC Exclusive Event, and I shared this one. I don't like this one on me, even with a liner, but I think that if you could enjoy to pull off sort of a weird color, it could work for you. This one is Stila's Liquid to Matte Lipstick in Dulce, and it is a absolutely gorgeous color. It is so peachy, which is everything that you want to look for if you're medium to tan um, in a nude lipstick. You really want something that has that nice peachy color, and it does um, dry to matte. So while it looks um, like a gloss now, it will dry as a matte, and you'll see that in just one second. So after a couple seconds, it ends up looking more like this, which is a nice matte, beautiful nude. The next color we have is Lime Crime Cashmere, and this color will look good on everybody. Um, some people might need a liner with it, other people could wear it just as is, but it's one of those colors that works for everyone. It's very, very unique. It's a little bit taupey, nudie. It's 
beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it also dries matte as well. The next color we have is the Anastasia Liquid to Matte Lipsticks, and this is in Pure Hollywood. This is a really true to matte lipstick, um, or sorry, true to nude lipstick. It's really nice, and it really doesn't need a liner or anything. It's faint and really pretty. The next color we have is Skimpy by ColourPop, and this color can work with the right liner, but alone it's not going to work. As you can see, the common denominator is colors that are too light or too, they, they get you kind of looking ashy and they just won't work for women of color. <laughs> 